Hello all. In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to set up the DB2 instance auditing. I'll be using IBM DB2 11.5.4 to perform this particular tutorial. The in there are different types of audit types provided by DB2: audit checking, segment, object man, sys admin, validate, context, execute. You can configure one or more types of event based on your requirement. The instance level auditing is configured using DB2 audit. So DB2 audit describe this particular statement will show you your current configuration. DB2 audit configure data path command will configure where the active audit logs are stored. DB2 configure archive path will save the path where once you archive the audit where it will go. So DB2 audit archive if you run that particular command where the archive path archive logs from the active logs are moved so that is your archive path this db2 audit configure scopes this will configure one or more of the audit types that we described here based on what based on your requirement status is equal to both means both whether the whether it is successful or failure both of those events will be captured db2 audit start will start the audit and if you want to stop it you will say db2 audit stop db2 audit describe will show you once we have done all of these settings we will verify that all of these settings looks good so we will verify using the db2 audit describe and then we will start our instance or stop our instance to just capture our activities done at the instance level so to extract our audit first we need to archive it so we will use db2 audit archive command to for, uh, to archive our audit and once the audit is archived we will use the db2 audit extract command to extract the audit logs so everything is done on using the db2 audit command you only need to work on the db2 audit command db2 audit describe to show you current settings configure to configure settings start and stop to start the audit then the audit archive to archive the audit logs and extract to extract the audit logs so let's Without wasting our time, we will start this session. So let me connect to the session. I'll connect to this particular box in the two different putty sessions. So I've done that. So I've connected to the same server using the same ID DBS. The DBS is the instance owner. So let's to see our current settings. We will use the command called DB2 audit describe. So that command will show if our audit is enabled. So DB2 audit describe. So as you can see, none of the audit settings, the audit is not active and all of the event categories, all of these events are clear. There is no, there is, all the events are clear and there is no data path, archive path. Everything is clean. So now what I'll do, I will configure the data path. So this data path is this archive path is this. As you can see, it's clearly highlighted here. So let me do that. So that's done. Once that is done, we can configure one or more events. So I'm going to configure object maintenance. So currently it is failure, sec maintenance, failure, sysadmin, failure. I'm going to configure these three event types to both. So let's do that. That's done. Now we will verify how our audit looks like using the DB2 audit describe. And as you can see, as you can see, now I have got these three events as both. The audit data path is set, audit archive path is also set. So that's that's good. So we have set these particular variables. Okay. We as of now our audit is still not enabled. Our audit is still not enabled. So let me go to this particular location, do ls minus l, and as you can see, I do not have my audit enabled. So let me do one thing. Let me start my audit so db2 audit start and ls minus l you can see that i have got an audit log file can you read it you will not be able to read this particular file because this is in the unreadable format so you cannot read that particular file so now what i will do i will stop my instance i will stop my instance and then that particular audit event should be captured in this particular file so we will verify it in a minute but before that let me do one thing let me do let me generate some audit events at the database level so to do that what i will do is you know i will create one object so 
let me create let me show you the file so i'm going to connect to a database called second and i'm going to create one table and i'm going to grant one access so let's see if this particular statement gets successful so i'm doing this and the connection the statements failed because we did not start the instance so let me start the instance and once the instance is started i'm going to run those statements so now i'm going to generate this and as you can see all those three statements got executed successfully so now we have what we have done using this particular file is we have generated if we have tried to generate some events we have created a table we have granted some db admin, admin. so he these particular settings these particular events are chosen based on the settings that we have and the settings were object maintenance so we created one object and sec maintenance so we granted some security to a particular user so that's what we have done so we now what we will be doing is like we will try to extract the audit log so before extracting the audit log we need to archive the log so let me go to this particular location and let's see if we have an archive file so we do not have any archive file so now what i'll do is like i'll use this particular command to archive that log so as you can see that log has been archived and now if i do here you can see that 5920 that log file 5920 has appeared in my archive location and from where this location it has picked when i said db2 audit archive did i did not mention any location but still the archive log was put in this particular location how did it happen because in the audit this if uh, db2 audit configure we have configured the archive part to this so this particular location it's going to archive my log file so that's done we have our archive file now what we are going to do is like using this particular command we are going to extract the log so before do extracting we will see if we have any if we have any delimited files and you you can see okay so let's uh, let's not do this so i've gone there and ls minus l you can see under the extract I do not have any delimited files. So now I'm going to run this particular command to extract my log files. So, so and before running this particular command, let's change the name of the archive file that we have generated. So this is done and let me run this particular command. So ls minus l, absolutely nothing. I'm going to run this and operation successful and ls minus l. And as you can see, we have got the delimited files from the extract these particular files you can see object maintenance is not there it's zero sec maintenance is zero however we try to create an object we try to grant and dbadm but that has not been captured which brings to a point that this is purely at the instance level this is not at the database level so any activity that you perform at the database level will not be captured only at the instance level it is it has captured so now let me check these events and you can see the start db2 that we ran that event has been captured by this particular event facility or the admin so this was the tutorial on how to capture the db2 audit setting and finally before closing this what i want to show you is like how to clear those settings so now let me do one thing let me show you db2 audit describe so currently these settings are enabled so if we want to reset these settings we want to reset it back to original value how do you do that so we will say db2 audit configure reset we will do this so that's done and now if i run this particular command db2 audit describe you see that all the settings that active has gone back to false the data path is cleared archive path is cleared and these particular things are now set to failure and before ending this particular tutorial i want to highlight this particular point the db2 audit configuration does not audit the databases to configure audit at the database level use the audit statement the audit sql statement use that particular statement to configure the audit at the database level so i hope this particular tutorial was useful in this particular tuto tutorial we saw how to set up the db2 instance auditing i have used the db2 11.5.4 which i have not shown you so before ending the video let me show you that this particular video was captured on db2 11.5.4 if you have liked this particular video uh, do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye